Hello, this is Bluegrass Bohemian, and today we're going to be doing some cracker stuffing. Uh, now, this is a little bit different than uh, bread stuffing, which is what most people are used to when they, uh, you know, stuff a turkey, Thanksgiving time. So this is cracker stuffing. So you can see we're going to use a full box of saltines. I've gone ahead and kind of broken them up in, uh, in the bags there. We've got one whole on onion chopped and about a cup and a half, two cups of celery now. You can either chop these or if you wanna put them in like a food processor, you can do that. We've got my daughter Hadley here helping us yeah. out today. And then we've got, that's one and a half sticks of butter melted and then three eggs uh, whipped, beat up, whatever. <laughs> okay, so I always prefer to start with the butter. And I'm gonna hand this off here. Why don't you grab the phone, honey? Okay, watch your fingers and let's uh, scrape that up. Okay, so put it over there. And here, I'll take this. Why don't you dump in the eggs? In goes the eggs. Okay. And kind of wipe that out as best you can. She's my cook and helper. Okay, that's good enough. Why don't you throw that in the sink? Okay. We need a spatula though, so let's bring that back. Okay. Okay. And if you're gonna just, just go ahead and dump in, yep, dump in the onion. And dump in the celery. Okay. And so now we're going to go ahead and mix this up. Okay. Now this is going to make, depending on what type of bird you're stuffing, whether it's a turkey or stuff in a chicken, uh, it is gonna be extra. There's gonna be, it's not all gonna fit in the bird. So there's gonna be extra. And there's some different things you can do if you wanna, with the leftover with like a cooking it in a pan. So let's go ahead and we'll dump in crackers. There's one. Two more. There's three. And there is four. Now, this is going to be a little dry. Let's get rid of these guys. There's some milk on the counter, or milk over here if you notice that. So we'll probably have to add some milk because it's gonna be too dry. I'd probably use a spoon, that'd be better. Let's get a spoon, keep an eye on that. Here we go, let's get us a service. There we go, that's a lot better. Now, you may have noticed, these are all the ingredients and maybe some milk, and I'll show you that. But there's no salt, there's no pepper, there's no spices, anything like that. There's nothing like that in there. Uh, the salt, there's plenty of salt from the cracker, so. But the way it cooks, when you stuff it in a bird, that the flavor just comes from the bird and from the, the just the vegetables in it. I, hard to describe, I don't know why that is, but it's, Everyone who's had this raves about it. And yeah, it definitely needs some milk. So. Just start a little, you don't want to make it soggy. So don't overdo it. Oh, 
moving the ball. <laughs> And you kind of, I mean, you just have to touch it to, to feel how dry it is. I mean, you can kind of look, but so it still needs a little bit more. That'll probably be enough. And I think we're almost done. That feels perfect. That feels perfect. Let me uh, get this. So you would just stuff it into your, your bird. And I'm not going to show that in this video right today. Uh, so it's a couple things you can do after. Uh, after you, so let's say we use about half this, maybe less even. Uh, stuff your bird. Uh, you can add maybe some sausage, like Brefix sausage, a town sausage. Uh, cook some sausage up, mix it in, add some uh, chicken broth, and put it in, you know, a uh, casserole dish. Cook it in the oven for about an hour, 350, 400. Uh, that's something people can do. Uh, the broth helps so it doesn't dry out, and then the sausage adds uh, just some more flavor and some, some kind of grease in there. Uh, which adds to it. But once again, this is just the base recipe for, for traditional cracker stuffing. And, uh, you know, stuff it in your bird of choice and, and enjoy. So, uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.